Like if I can't go inside, then like if he can't go inside, then I can't go inside. Right. So we might as well just sit outside and freeze, right? So. so we've all seen them on the street. You only have to walk downtown or on a major street anywhere. And you see a young person, a teenager, they put out a sleeping bag, they're sitting on the sleeping bag, either them or with some friends, and they have a dog. And these kids have been hurt by either family or friends or abused or they've been victims of human trafficking. There's a tremendous amount of human trafficking in our city or they're addicted to drugs or for mental health, there, there could be a combination of, of that and any mental health issues, they're on the street. And the only soul, the only confidant that they have is that dog that you see sitting with them on the street. It doesn't matter if I'm outside or inside, it just protects me either way. Okay. Yeah. No matter how cold it gets or how hungry they get, they will never leave their dog to come in for help for themselves. Well, I'm not going to let them stay outside. I'm not going to let them get taken away from me. And yeah. So those kids are passed by. They're left behind. They're really good kids who just need help. And so that's why we've installed a dog kennel. So when those kids feel that it's time for them to come in out of, the, out of the cold or come in for some help or come in for a meal, they can bring their dogs with them and nobody gets left behind. So the building is divided into two. We have 10 emergency beds and we have 41 transition beds. Um, the emergency side is somebody walks in off the street or is sent here from the TDSB or, is draw, or a police officer drops them off because it's 50 below. I need a place to stay tonight, no problem, no questions asked. You get clean, get debugged, put on something clean, have a bite to eat, and you can stay here. If you don't want to speak to one of our counselors, no problem, and then they're out the next day. That's, that's the typical shelter model. Coming at night, leave in the morning, and it's just a revolving door. Um, the, the, the point of having the transition home married to the emergency shelter side, which no other shelter is doing, is to break that cycle. So for the people who want help and want to speak to a counselor, and then it's determined that they're ready to move to the transition side for a year, two or longer, uh, and then move into their own place, this model is designed to break that cycle of the revolving door of homelessness and, you know, even if it's 40, 50 kids a year, that, or even 30 kids a year that come in off the street when they're homeless and end up in their own place and, and, and leading productive lives, then we have succeeded in a major way.